Hey guys, what's up? It's Exuperist here, and today I'll be reacting to episode 10 of Avatar The Last Airbender. So far, we've traveled to... I don't know, where did we go the previous episode? Uh, uh, what was the previous episode about? Oh, okay. Anyway, um, without further ado, let's get on with this episode. Hey guys, before we continue with the reaction, don't forget to hit like and subscribe and click on the notification bell so that you won't miss any new uploads. And with that, let's go back to the reaction. I'm the oldest and I'm a warrior, so I'm the leader. If anyone's the leader, it's Aang. I mean, he is the Avatar. Are you kidding? He's just a goofy kid. Okay, Sokka does make a point. Right. Why do boys always think someone has to be the leader? I bet you wouldn't be so bossy if you kissed a girl. I've kissed a girl. You just haven't met her. Who? Grand Grand? I've met Grand Grand. No, besides Grand Grand. Look, my instincts tell me we have a better chance of slipping through on foot, and a leader mm. has to trust his instincts. Okay, we'll try it your way, oh wise leader. Hey, Sokka's instincts, would you mind? Okay, okay, I get it. Look, guys, I'm tired too. But the important thing is that we're safe from the Fire Nation. <laughs> 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 That's so unlucky. If you let us pass, we promise not to hurt you. What are you doing? <laughs> you promise not to hurt us? Oh. Uh, uh, nice work, Sokka. How'd you do that? Uh, instinct? <laughs> Look! Oh, okay. I vaguely remember this kid, although I'm not exactly sure where he's from. Oh, okay. It's a ragtag group of children. Who can apparently fight. Oh my gosh, that's not a kid. Freedom fighters. Sneers, long shot, smeller bee, the dude, and pipsqueak. <laughs> pipsqueak? That's a funny name. It's not pipsqueak. You think my name is funny? It's hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Jet, these barrels are filled with blasting jelly. That's a great score. And these boxes are filled with jelly candy. Also good. Let's not get those mixed up. Okay, I have this a feeling a there's something have wrong about you this. Yes, we want to see it. I, I just have a bad feeling because I, I vaguely you? remember Where? something there's happening nothing. wrong. Hold this. After this. What's this do? Oh, okay. I'll get up on my own. Grab hold of me, Katara. <laughs> okay. Okay, I'm not sure, but something doesn't sit well with me here. Let's just see what happens in... Um, the course of the episode. Shh. It amplifies vibrations. Good trick. Nothing yet. Wait, yes. Someone's approaching. How many? I think there's just one. Good work, Sokka. Ready your weapon. Wait! False alarm! He's just an old man! What are you doing in our woods, you leech? Please, sir. I'm just a traveler. Do you 
like destroying towns? Do you like destroying families? Do you? No, please, let me go. Have mercy. Does the Fire Nation let people go? Does the Fire Nation have mercy? Jack, he's just an old man. He's Fire Nation. Search him. But he's not hurting anyone. Have you forgotten that the Fire Nation killed your mother? Remember why you fight. We gotta stop, Jack. This doesn't feel right. Mm, there it is. Be done. Now let's get out of here. Come on, Sokka. I want to hear Jet's side of the story. Sokka, you told them what happened, but you didn't mention that the guy was Fire Nation. Was no, the guy the actually Fire, Fire Nation? Fine. We don't even know. Even if he was Fire Nation, he was a harmless civilian. He was an assassin, Sokka. See? There's a compartment for poison in the night. He was sent to eliminate me. You helped save my life, Sokka. I knew there was an explanation. Is that true? Knife. That's because he was concealing it. See, Sokka? I'm sure you just didn't notice the knife. There was no knife. I'm going back to the hut and packing my things. I kind of agree with Sokka here. I really need your help. What can we do? The Fire Nation is planning on burning down our forest. If you both use water bending to fill the reservoir, we could fight the fires. But if you leave now, they'll destroy the whole valley. We can't leave mm. now with the Fire Nation about to burn down a forest. I'm sorry, Katara. Jet's very smooth, but we can't trust him. I feel like you know that's a lie. Mean? You're jealous that he's a better warrior and a better leader. Katara, I'm not jealous of Jet. It's just that my instincts... Well, my instincts tell me we need to stay here a little longer and help Jet. Come on, Aang. Sorry, Sokka. Hmm. I don't know how this is going to end. But I bet it's going to end with Sokka actually being right. Those are the blasting jellies, right? They're going to... Uh, they're going to detonate... Or, uh, wait, they're going to detonate a dam? If the reservoir isn't full, the Fire Nation troops could survive. But what about the people in the town? Won't they get wiped out too? Look, Duke, that's the price of ridding this area of the Fire Nation. Now don't blow the dam until I give the signal. Got it? Where do you think you're going, Ponytail? Hmm. I wonder how they're going to find out that he's been lying to them. I'm not just saying that to be lazy. Let's catch up with Jet at the reservoir. I thought we agreed to meet Jet back at the hideout. Well, we finished early. I'm sure he'll be happy to see us. Oh, he won't. He won't be happy at all. How can you stand by and do nothing while Jet wipes out a whole town? Hey, listen, Sokka. Jet's a great leader. We follow what he says, and things always turn out okay. Do they? Do they really? What are they doing? Hey, those are the red barrels he got from the Fire Nation. Why would they need blasting jelly? Because Jet's gonna blow up the dam. What? No, that would destroy the town. Jet wouldn't do that. I've gotta stop him. Mm. Jet wouldn't do that. Oops. Yes, I would. Jet, why? Katara. You would too if you just stopped to think. Think about what the Fire Nation did to your mother. We can't let them do that to anyone else ever again. This isn't the answer. I want you to understand me, Katara. I thought your brother would understand, but... Where's Sokka? Katara. <sighs> I need to get to the dam. You're not going anywhere without your glider. I'm not gonna fight you, Jet. You probably to should. Glider back.
Too late. No. Sokka's still out there. He's our only chance. Come on, Sokka. I'm sorry I ever doubted you. Please. Okay, I have uh, an inkling All those people. that Sokka actually did. Jet, you monster! This was a victory, Katara. Remember that. The Fire Nation is I think he evacuated the whole town, valley, village. It will be safe without you. Sokka! I warned the villagers of your plan mm. just in time. What? At first, they didn't believe me. The Fire Nation soldiers assumed I was a spy, but one man vouched for me. The old man you attacked. He urged them to trust me. And we got everyone out in time. Mm. Mrs. Pretty! Sokka, you fool! We could have freed this valley! Who would be free? Everyone would be dead. You traitor! No, Jet. You became the traitor when you stopped protecting innocent people. Katara, please, help me. Goodbye, Jet. Yip, yip! We thought you were going to the dam. How come you went to the town instead? Let me guess. Your instincts told you. Hey, sometimes they're right. Um, Sokka, you know we're going the wrong way, right? And sometimes they're wrong. Okay, so that was a very interesting episode. We got to see a little bit more of Sokka in this episode. He's got the spotlight. And I do remember watching this episode before. Uh, I'm not sure exactly what, when, but I, I do remember something like it. And, and I already had a feeling beforehand that something bad was going to happen. Or, or like there was something fishy about Jet and his crew. So yeah, they were just he was just trying to pursue this very twisted kind of justice it's twisted because he's willing to sacrifice innocent people just so that he can get exact revenge against uh, the fire nation but that's just not how things should work right i understand there are times when you do need to you, you do need to sacrifice something but you i, I believe that you shouldn't sacrifice other people's lives if they don't if they're not even willing to do it, right? Those are innocent people, they don't wanna be involved. So why are you going to take away their lives um, just for the sake of your own ambition or goals or your blind justice? So 
yeah, definitely Jet was in the wrong. And I understand that in cases of war, you know, sacrifices do need to be made. But the people who are sacrificing their lives need to know that they're doing it for something. They can't just be doing it in vain. And I think that kind of theme was uh, that kind of theme was shown in particularly in Attack on Titan, right? The, the, the concept of sacrificing one's life for a, a certain goal or for a certain cause. So that's one part of it, at least. Anyway, so that was a very interesting episode. We still haven't gotten anywhere near arriving at the North Pole. So uh, hopefully they're going to head there in the next few episodes because and Aang is running out of time. Anyway, thank you guys for watching this video and see you in the next one. Thank you guys for watching until the end of this video. Click here to subscribe and check out these two videos for more fun content. See you in the next one.